In this video, we will answer the question, what is a criminal pretrial motion to suppress evidence and how can it help defend your criminal case? The answer to that question is coming right up. Welcome back to Gustitis Law. If this is your first time visiting here, I'm Steve Gustitis and this is my channel. If you're interested in learning how to successfully navigate the criminal justice system, how to defend criminal charges, and how to manage encounters that you may have with the police, then consider subscribing to the Gustitis Law community by clicking on that capital black and white G down in the lower right hand corner of the video screen. This video is number two in our series on criminal pretrial motions practice. If you're interested in looking at any of the other videos in the series, you can check out the links down in the description section below. What is a pretrial motion to suppress evidence in a criminal case? Well, it's a written document filed with a court prior to your trial date, alleging that certain evidence seized by the police was obtained in violation of your constitutional and statutory rights. Pretrial motions to suppress evidence can involve a variety of situations that you may encounter with the police. Following are just a few examples of these types of motions. If the police stop you and detain you illegally, then any evidence derived from that illegal stop and detention can be suppressed from evidence and be excluded from your trial. These types of encounters with the police usually involve traffic stops or other situations where a police officer has commanded you to stop and has affected your ability to come and to go as you please. Before a police officer can legally stop you and detain you, they need what is called reasonable suspicion. Reasonable suspicion is a concept derived from the Fourth Amendment to the United States Constitution. Reasonable suspicion means that the police officer has facts and circumstances that they can articulate, which suggest that you have just committed a crime, that you are currently committing a crime, or you are about to commit a crime, even something as simple as a traffic offense. When a police officer has reasonable suspicion that they can articulate, they are permitted to stop and detain you for a short and brief period of time. If a police officer does not have reasonable suspicion and does not have your consent for the stop and the detention, then any evidence derived from that stop and detention will be excluded from evidence based on what we call the exclusionary rule. Examples of evidence that might be excluded under the exclusionary rule might include drugs uh, seized as a result of the stop, weapons, even signs of intoxication in a DWI case, and maybe even uh, statements that you may have made that are incriminating. The police can seize evidence illegally in other ways as well. A search conducted by a police officer must be based on probable cause. If a police officer does not have probable cause to make a search and does not have your consent, then the evidence seized as a result of that search can be suppressed from evidence under the exclusionary rule as well. For instance, if a police officer searches your pockets, searches your car, or searches your belongings without probable cause and without your consent, then your criminal defense lawyer may have a good Fourth Amendment search and seizure issue to litigate in a pretrial motion to suppress evidence.
Another example of a bad search is when the police search your home or your business based on a search warrant that is defective. If a search warrant is not based on sufficient probable cause, then the evidence that was seized by the police uh, after using the search warrant will be suppressed from evidence, again, under the exclusionary rule, and cannot be used against you in court. Can you think of other examples of illegal searches and seizures? If you can, why don't you add those down in the comments section below, and maybe we can begin a discussion that helps other people too. Our next video in this series will discuss the very important pretrial motion for discovery and how it can help you defend your criminal case. So stay tuned to Gustatus Law for that next important video in this series. And thank you again for uh, watching here at Gustatus Law.